this is so pretty. Yeah, I have this whole team. Life is a winding rush. No telling where it goes. Welcome to it. Welcome to another week in my life. Weekly vlog. I can't wait to take you guys along. We're starting today on Monday. Sorry, I've been writing out my plan for the week on my little planner here. So I randomly just picked up this highlighter. I'm Julia. If you've never met me before, welcome to my channel. I'm hoping that this can be a nice, talkative, chatty, cozy, and cute vlog. And hopefully productive. We need to get some stuff done this week because I feel like literally all of this year so far, I can't think of one thing that I've actually done. So we need to change that this week and start getting some stuff done off of my 2024 goals. So like I said, today's Monday and we're starting off with going to my little sister's gymnastics meet. My little sister is in high school. She actually has a YouTube channel. If you guys want to go watch some of her content, she makes vlogs of her life in high school, which is really fun. Um, so Keegan and I are going to go to her meet tonight, watch her, and then that's, I don't know. That's all I've really done today is I've been planning out my week, posted a few TikToks and edited those, updated my journal. So I have this little, journal that I started this year. It's a bullet journal basically and it's so cute. How cute is my page for February? And I added in this little life updates page today. Little song of the month. It's just so cute. I have all this stuff linked on my Amazon storefront if you guys ever want to find like the same pens and notebook that I use for this. So yeah, I've just had a very chill Monday. I was sick all last week and honestly, I'm still a little like, if you, my voice does not sound like it normally does. So I've been having a chill day trying to plan and get back into the swing of things. But yeah, all right, let's go ahead and go to Sarah's gymnastics meet. <laughs> May the next few months be a period of magnificent transformation. Amazing. Okay, we're back from the gymnastics meet. I am making my nightly tea. You guys don't know, I've been very into tea. I have this whole tea box. Oh, oh my gosh, I forgot that was it. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Well, anyways, this whole tea box. So, just got lemons to start putting fresh cut lemon in my tea, and it has been a game changer. Of course, I have my new favorite mug. I have my passion fruit tea with a lemon slice in it. And the vibes right now are amazing because I am watching The Bachelor, I have my tea, and then I also started reading a book. So, reading while watching TV. <laughs> It's a whole new level of entertainment going on. But yeah, this is my Monday night ritual, I guess. Watching The Bachelor. I think about it sometimes and I'm like, dang, it's kind of a bummer. I used to sit and watch this with my college roommates every night and now it's just not the same. It's not in college anymore. There's always just a bunch of those like post-grad realizations that you're like, dang, I missed that time in my life. I took it for granted while I was in it. If you're currently still in college, make sure you live it up and cherish every moment. <laughs> You guys, Keegan just got me that towel warmer for Valentine's Day and I love it. Every time I get out of the shower now, my towel is so warm and sometimes I even put my robe in there if I'm like getting my robe to dice in my hair or something or self tan. Chef's kiss, amazing gift idea if anyone ever needs one. I'm so excited because Survivor starts next week, you guys. And so I just made my draft today, my fantasy Survivor draft. And I researched the players this year and I figured out which ones were Swifties just based off of what they said in some of the interviews. So we'll see if I get them on my tribe. But it's so funny because I posted that and then I found one of them. His name is Charlie, I think. Um, Charlie Davis. And 
I found him on Instagram after I made my draft and I followed him. He had like an interview go viral on TikTok that was like, for every stage of the game I'll be in, gonna be a different Taylor Swift era, blah, blah, blah. Make a bold move, a reputation era. So I thought that was so funny. So I followed him on Instagram and then he saw my story and slid up and said, yeah. So I need to be like, I'm rooting for you, dude. Please give me some points. <laughs> I think that's so funny. So I'm very excited for this new Survivor season. If any of you guys even watch Survivor, I feel like I talk about this in my vlogs and it's very niche. But if anybody likes Survivor and wants to be in a draft, we should all do it because I will make it and put it in the description of this video if anyone wants to join because it's so funny. Like vote on different players each week, points and everything. So just like fantasy football, but Survivors. It's like midnight now though. So Keegan and I need to get to bed because he has work tomorrow and I need to get my life together tomorrow and start actually doing things because like I said I haven't done anything in all 2024 so I need to go to bed and not fall back asleep tomorrow because what I'll do is Keegan wakes up at 7 we both do leaves at 7 30 and then I usually crawl back in bed until like 9 30 or 10 I can't do that tomorrow I need to get up and start my day and just be productive so I'm gonna go to bed and I'll see you guys in the morning <laughs> Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights Okay, I take back what I said last night. I'm laying back down, but only until 9, okay? It's still early enough to get work done. Ah. I, I was wondering if you're accepting new patients. We are. Awesome. Do you have any insurance we would file? Yes. Christ, C-R-I-S-T. I'll send that link out here to you shortly. Thank you. You're welcome. Have Hi. a good day. You too. <laughs> I feel like every day I just freeze up and don't do anything and it just keeps happening over and over and over and then a week goes by and I'm like, oh my gosh, I didn't do a single productive thing that week. So we're going to try and put an end to this. I need to get off my phone, stop scrolling on TikTok. That's just the thing about being self-employed is it's literally up to me how much work I put in and how much stuff and content I do and that therefore like correlates with my money and my income which is also terrifying because my income relies on my life and what I'm doing in my life so since I haven't been doing anything I'm like okay Julia you need to get it together figure this out because it's not gonna go well basically today's Tuesday and I post videos on Thursdays and Sundays so this video that we're filming right now is going to go live on Sunday but I need a video for Thursday to post I have nothing I don't know I don't know what to film I've run out of ideas my idea bank is dry so I need to figure that out though like i want to go do work somewhere fun so that i am motivated it's like the whole i'm around people so i don't want to look like i'm just sitting on my phone i want to look like i'm actually being productive and doing work so i think we're going to get out of our pajamas go to a coffee shop sit down and do some work i have an office series that i'm going to be posting on instagram and tiktok because i'm breaking up my whole office renovation into a series on tiktok and instagram but then also making a whole youtube video over it and i think i need to start posting some of these videos about the series because the floor is coming in soon and once the flooring comes in that's kind of one of the last things that I'm doing so I need to get everything in line and edit a few of the videos because I have like five of the videos already edited since I've been doing stuff but I need to actually or I mean filmed but I need to actually edit them and get them ready to post so we are going to get ready and go to a local coffee shop <laughs> Okay, I've just made it to the coffee shop. It's a small little local one. It's actually where I used to work in high school, which is kind of fun. So we're back in my old stomping grounds. <laughs> grounds. Okay, I'm gonna go in there. I'm not sure how much I'll film. We'll see. It depends how many people are in there. I get kind of nervous sometimes. I need your love. When everything's wrong, you come. Guess where I've wound up? <laughs> <laughs> the paint store. So I was sitting in there planning out my office, TikTok transformation and YouTube video. And I realized one of the projects that I want to do is to literally paint the cabinets and everything. And I decided I should probably do that before I replace the entire flooring, just in case obviously I spill something or I don't know, I'm very messy when I paint. So that means that I need to do this like this week because the flooring I think is going to come in within the next week. So, so yeah, I researched all the different paints and what kind I want. And I think I picked out a color. 
there. I'm gonna go in and double check it and see if I like it. Then we're gonna get the stuff. I don't know if I'll get around to starting the project today, but it will either be a today or a this weekend project. So we'll see, but I'm all excited now. It's gonna be so cute. Okay, I got the paint 150 bucks later, but it's fine. It'll be worth it. And then I think we'll have a lot extra so I can use that for other projects. Okay, and then I just ran into Big Lots, which is right across from it because we needed a bag of Doritos for dinner tonight because the recipe is like a Doritos casserole. It's so good. So we're gonna be making that. When I bought groceries, I forgot the main ingredient, which was the bag of Doritos. So I ran and got that. And now we can head home before it gets too crazy in town because since it's just a small town, whenever high school lets out, there's so much traffic and it's so busy. So I'm gonna try and get out of here before that happens. But I think I might be too late. Oof, we'll see. <laughs> okay, I've decided to start on the cabinets today because why not? The other alternative what to do with my afternoon was to start my closet clean out vlog, which I've decided is gonna be Thursday's video, but I'm gonna just do that tomorrow during the day. So. I am going to turn on the podcast and sand down these cabinets. This footage is going to be in my office transformation video, so make sure you get excited for that video. Um, so I'll see you guys later in the evening. Okay, finished the primer coat on this. I definitely should not have done this today, you guys, because I am running out of time. Because while I've been doing this, my brother-in-law called and asked if Keegan and I would want to go over for dinner because he's making chili and it's making a bunch. I was like, oh, that'd be fun. So we need to wrap this up and go to that because it, it's like now. So I need to get dressed. <laughs> Hello, Kitty. Hello. Oh. Hi, Taco. So we have Taco. And we think this one's blueberry. And there's another one that's lemon. But we don't know where he is. You play day, and now feel so high. scheduling for Julia Christ. Indiana, is that correct? Yes. Yes, that is perfect. Now, would there be someone there that could help offload if we needed help? Um. Oh, actually, it looks like it's just a you know, palette. Okay, I was like, <laughs> I can try. I'll be here. <laughs> Thank you. Floors are coming. I'm so excited. Every time I get on the phone, Apollo comes in there and just starts snorting hardcore and I'm like, oh my word, they can probably hear that. It's so embarrassing. Anyway, so we just scheduled the floors to be delivered tomorrow and I'm so excited. So excited. But they're delivering it on like a pallet and so I think I need to figure out if I can get them to deliver it inside of our garage so they're not just sitting outside. You guys will see it obviously probably in like five minutes. It's tomorrow. Today is Wednesday now and I figured out what video I'm gonna film. It's going to be a closet clean out. So eventually I need to do my hair and makeup put in my contacts. Oh, that's something I did yesterday too, is I finally called and scheduled a new eye appointment. That I'm also very excited about because these glasses are, I don't know, I don't think I really need new glasses. These are fine, I don't wear your brand enough, but I do need new contacts because I'm almost out. I have one more pair left. So I'm excited about that. And I've been noticing I'm like squinting at a lot of things, which means I probably need to change my prescription because my eyes are getting worse. Gosh, I feel like my eyes are terrible. They are terrible. Let's see if I reach the negative sixes. <laughs> I'm very excited about that. I feel like I've just been doing a lot of things that I've been procrastinating for a while. So it's always just good to get those done. Anyways, a closet clean out. I'm filming that today. This has actually been very, very much needed. My whole closets just need organized. So I'm going to be cleaning out my clothes and going through and donating and selling on Poshmark, but then I'm also going to be completely organizing all, cause there's just so much random junk in our closet. So those need organized and I'm going to do that today. I'm not excited at all about it. There's a reason I've been putting it off, but it's gonna be a good video. So it'll be interesting to watch. So that'll be good. <laughs> I'm just drinking my morning coffee, drinking my water. I had breakfast and then I've been reading a little on my phone because I've realized that I spend way too much darn time on TikTok. So I've thought if I ever start scrolling on TikTok, I'll just switch over to the Kindle app on my phone and start reading instead of scrolling. And I've made it through like four books just doing this because I didn't realize how much time I spent on TikTok. So I was doing this morning while drinking my coffee instead of scrolling. But then it's also like, I don't want to stop reading because it's getting to a good point in the book. So I have to have self-control and make myself stop. Um, so I'm going to drink my coffee a little bit more and just read a little bit more and then start getting ready. <laughs> oh no. 
I just realized we had laundry sitting in here that I've just, I tossed it in here a while ago and then I was going to put more in and then start it and then I never did. And it's like soaking wet because <laughs> I put a comforter in there and it must've been too much for it to handle because then there was water all over the laundry room that day. So I had to dry up the water from the laundry machine and then I put those in there and now it smells. Okay, so we're gonna, we have a lot of laundry everywhere. So I'm gonna take some out of the bedroom to throw in there and finally start so it doesn't start smelling really bad. Okay, I wanna try out this new hairstyle that I've been seeing. We have like two front pieces down and then a messy bun. Um, but my hair is so long, I don't know if it looks weird or not. And I don't know, you guys tell me. So then I was like, oh, I could get some scissors and cut it. You know, those are kind of a big piece to cut. So I might just leave it. It doesn't look as crazy when it's like tucked in my ears a little. I don't know, I'm just gonna leave it like this. I'm just filming a video, so nothing too crazy. Just finishing up getting ready though. It's the Rare Beauty Blush in um, Happy, I think. It definitely does a lot. <laughs> also, I just I just love our bathroom. I was going to film in here because it's just so pretty. This was, like, I feel like I've said it a few times, but this is something that definitely sold us on this house was the bathroom because they just redid it not too long ago. Ah, I think it was like last year, actually. It's just so happy in here and bright and beautiful and modern. The one room that we like don't have to do any touches on, <laughs> which is kind of funny because I feel like we've done so, so, so many projects. But thankfully, nothing in here. Well, I take it back. I did screw on a toilet paper holder, which I am regretting my choice of doing because there was not a stud for it to go on. It's literally just drywall and then it's like, it's falling out. So not the most sturdy. <laughs> Uh, but that's alright. Alright, I'm like procrastinating and taking as long as I can getting ready because I, again, I've been procrastinating a closet clean out and I don't want to do it, but it needs to happen, so. I've just been taking my time getting ready, watching Bridgerton on my laptop <laughs> so that I don't have to do it. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to film it. I am gonna stop vlogging because I'm doing another video, so I'll see you guys in probably like five hours by the time I finish doing this. <laughs> Hi, it's me later in the day. Obviously, it's so dark. I am exhausted after that closet clean out. It was so worth it, and I feel so much better. But I'm so tired, and I just want to go to bed, but it's literally 6 p.m. So I just loaded the dishwasher, and I just ran another load of laundry, having a very productive day. But now I just want to sit and read, except I feel like I should go out and put another coat of primer on my cabinet it's out in the office but I also just want to sit here and lay down because my back hurts <laughs> I don't know I don't know what to do but it's been an amazing Wednesday so far I also put a bunch of stuff on my Poshmark and that's been selling which is amazing can't wait to get it all out of here but yeah so tomorrow is Thursday and that's when the floors are delivered I want to have the cabinets done by this weekend so that I can start the floors maybe this weekend oh it's kind of a big project but we'll see I don't know I'm not really doing anything this weekend so I think it's a perfect weekend to start it but yeah that means I want to have the cabinets done so if I did another primer coat either tonight or tomorrow morning and then did the actual paint tomorrow or Friday that should be plenty of time for it to get done in time for the floors so I don't know I don't know that's my thought process right now I think I'm gonna relax just a little bit more and decide if I want to go out and do the cabinets later after dinner because it's I'm thawing out meat right now for tacos and I don't want to start the project and then have to take a break to have dinner and then get back to it. So if I do it, it'll be after dinner. You want to eat to say your problem? Sit. Okay, it's 9 p.m. now. We already had dinner and now I've Wasted a, like too much time on TikTok. Finished my book and I'm feeling accomplished. And we honestly usually stay up to like 11 to midnight most nights of the week. So I still have a few more hours of my night where I'm going to start editing my video for tomorrow. And maybe I'll even get it done so I don't have to do it tomorrow. Because I was planning on just waking up early and editing it from 7 a.m. to noon, like I normally do on Thursdays. But I was just thinking, like, I don't really have anything else I could do other than maybe like play The Sims or something fun, but. I kind of want to just do it and see if maybe I'll be able to spend more time doing other things tomorrow. So, gotta go do that. <laughs>
Good morning, happy Thursday of the week. It's a gloomy day outside, which means literally every light in the house needs to be on because I hate gloomy days and I love it when it's happy and sunlight and sun shiny outside and when it's not, this is the next best thing. But I just woke up, I just made my breakfast and my coffee and now I'm going to edit. I actually edited the whole video last night, but I just have a few last night things like the intro and adding extra little fun things every here and there. So we're going to sit and do that and finish that up and upload it and we also need to make a thumbnail which I don't know if I took any pictures for so that's gonna be interesting to figure out. <laughs> My floors are also getting delivered today which is exciting. It's honestly in the next like said from 11 to 4 I think so that starts in seven minutes is the window of opportunity. So I'm excited but I was also nervous because I'm gonna have to talk to whoever and hopefully they don't want to kidnap me because I'm home alone. <laughs> I always have irrational fears like that. Um, anyways, my breakfast of the day is a rice cake. It's a caramel rice cake with crunchy peanut butter on it. Do any of you guys like fixate on breakfast? Because I've been eating this for the last like two months straight and I'm not tired of it yet. I was the same. I used to always have a bagel with like this everything bagel with chive and onion and cream cheese every single day. And my coffee throughout it all has stayed the same order. It's always this French vanilla specific great value Walmart brand. French vanilla K-cup with two spoonfuls of sugar and then vanilla almond milk has not changed. I have it in my cute little mug I just got and I just remembered I've been so spoiled because I have it in my temperature controlled mug every morning so it stays hot for like hours but I kind of wanted to drink out of my cute new mug today but I just realized it's going to get cold in like 20 minutes so I need to drink it. We have this thing. Two dust bag makes so much sense. I'm good, how are you? Yep, that's perfect. I was wondering if I have a spot in our garage cleared out, if it could be put in there, if I have the door open. Perfect, amazing. Tonight's dinner, chef it up. Oh, that's hot. It's a Doritos casserole, it's literally so good. You guys, I don't know if you just like screenshot here, screenshot, and there is the directions if you wanna screenshot this too. But it's so good, it's one of our favorites. I got the recipe from my Aunt Jolene, as you saw in my bridal shower book cookbook. So cute. I had this at the bridal shower and I had mailed out all these blank recipe cards with the invitations. So everybody brought a recipe and they're all so good. So now I have some of my favorite family recipes on here. Chef's kiss. It's about noon. Kylie came over this morning and she helped me move stuff out of my office, which was fun. It was just good to catch up with her. We had coffee and hung out. And I told her all the plans for my office and she updated me on her work life and all that good stuff. Now Keegan and I are going to head to Fort Wayne. We live in such a small town. You have to go to Fort Wayne to get all the good stores and everything. So we're going and we're going to Costco. He also is a groomsman in a wedding here next month. So he needs to get fitted for his suit. So we're just running some fun errands like that. So I'm wearing today just this t-shirt from White Fox. These American Eagle jeans that I'm obsessed Obsessed with. Okay. Ah! We just spent $350 at Costco. It always happens, no matter what. We end up spending an outrageous amount, but it's all right, we restocked on a lot of things we needed, so I'm just gonna rationalize it that way. All right, guys, it's Friday night now, and I started on the flooring, and then it made me mad, so I'm stopping for the night, and I'm gonna try it again tomorrow. <laughs> try some new approaches. I kinda wanted to start it tonight and run into those first initial problems and figuring it all out tonight so that hopefully tomorrow it'll be smooth sailing. But yeah, I'm very excited about it. It's very pretty, but it made me mad, so I'm gonna be done with that for the evening. <laughs> Honestly, we don't really have any plans tonight. I might go in and read. I read a whole book last night in one sitting. Maybe I'll do that again. I don't know. But we had so much fun at Costco today just finding all the random stuff, so maybe I'll have to find one of our new snacks to have. I don't have you, I don't have us, please not anymore. Now I'm just waiting for love, waiting for love. Good morning, it's Saturday. It's 9 a.m. and I'm already dressed and ready. What a surprise. We are heading out to go to our nephew's basketball game. He's like 
seven, so it's like very little league and it's so cute watching them all try to learn how to play basketball. So we're going to that. I have on this sweater, it's from Aerie. Did my hair all cute because it was crazy so it needed to go up. But I have my ember mug that I'm taking with my coffee and then I also have this travel lid that Keegan got me for Christmas so I can put it on. But you guys, it snowed last night. Crazy. I was kind of hoping the snow would be done, but that's probably a silly wish because it's gonna be around for a while, I bet. At least it looks really pretty. And so over winter. <laughs> Later in the day on Saturday, we went to our nephew's basketball game today. It was so fun. And then I came home and started on my new office floors and they're looking so good. Literally so good. They're almost done. I just have this spot by the door and I don't want to deal with it today. So I might pick this back up tomorrow. So I am probably going to end this vlog off here because I need to edit it for tomorrow to post. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.